Hey everyone, Gage and Will here. We're here with James, and right now we're checking out Thief Town. Uh, Thief Town's a really cool, you know, 2D kind of pixel game where you get to stab your friends. So James, why don't you give us your little rundown about Thief Town right now? Yeah, so Thief Town is our uh, multiplayer Wild West backstabbing adventure game. So we have our knife stickers here. And the idea of the game is up to four players. It's a local multiplayer only. You gotta play with friends. Uh, you are in the crowd of all these computer controlled thieves and you and your friends look exactly the same as them. So the goal of the game is to figure out which of the computers are actually your friends and then you uh, stab them for points. So they're less friends. Yeah, well until they're <laughs> dead friends, you know. A, a dead friend is a good friend. And then we have different modes so you get items like smoke bombs and motion detectors. There's giant killer tumbleweeds and ghosts that try to chase you around. And then some Sometimes you could even uh, shoot your friends if you get tired of stabbing them. Sure, and now a lot of people are picking this up online. I've seen people playing on YouTube, things like that. How's the positive? How's the response been so far? It's been pretty positive. Yeah, the uh, we usually get a lot of positive response. I mean, the game is colorful. It's a little weird. It's funny. Uh, the only negative response we usually get is that the game isn't online. But we tried to play it online, and the thing is, it's just not fun unless you're in the room with other people. Right. You know, it's a couch multiplayer game. You want to have your friends in the same room. You want to be talking crap. You want to be getting them. Yeah. You want that victory when you're right in the same room. So, other than that, I mean. People really love the game. It's good to see, you know, a lot of these multiplayer games coming back, and we want to be part of that. We want to be one of those games that you can sit with your friends on a Saturday night and just play a bunch of games. And it's even better because I'm better than my friends at most video games. So he, you did win. So we can confirm he did win the round. How about Will? You got anything? He's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna add <laughs> totally that. Am. Totally am. He reminds me of a game called Outlaw back on the Atari, like way back when. Did you ever play that game? It kind of it has that same kind of feel where you had like a gun and you just kind of moved around. It was just it just reminded me of that. It's really cool. Yeah, we, we, we know about we know about these kind of games. People compare it to a couple different games, and yeah, we definitely didn't want to go for like you know the specific NES or Atari Pixel, but we kind of think it's maybe maybe uh, if the Atari grew up just a little bit, yeah. it was like maybe like not a teenager, but like a 12 year old. It's kind of evolved a little bit, but still has that very much like old school art style. And even when you start the game, it plays a little like almost like Atari jingle. So I, I love the art style, by the way. I think it's great. I love the game modes as well. It's very fast pace as well. How many game modes, though, can we, are, are you guys putting out there? Yeah, so we have three game modes. There's Thief Town, where you're trying to stab your friends and hide in the crowd. And then Spy Town is one where you use items, so that's the smoke bombs and the TNT and the big uh, glass of booze. Uh, you use those. And then there's Drunk Town, so all the thieves except for one are drunk, so they can't stab. And one of you plays the sheriff. You're trying to clean up your town. So you're trying to shoot them, and they're trying to hide from you and survive until the time runs out. And then also, we did a big update to the game, so we have another map, so we have the Wild West map and we have another map called spooky town where you're in like a spooky graveyard and so those different maps add different things so in the uh, wild west there's sandstorms and killer tumbleweeds that try to crush you sure but then in spooky town there's the statues that follow you the lightning flashes that reveal where you are so there's three game modes and two maps and they're split over day and night so we do we only have three modes but there's a lot of different ways to play them so, so an entire match how long would a, a match typically take well, you can set them rounds for our demo here. We have 20 points. You can set it from 20 to 50, and then it cycles through every three rounds. Um, so you play three rounds of Thief Town, three rounds of Spy Town, three rounds of Drunk Town, and then it loops. Or, if you want, you can play all of Spy Town, all of Thief Town, or all of Drunk Town, and you can kind of set it how you like. This is definitely a Let's Play we're going to have to do, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Gage, anything else? Uh, it's the last thing I had. Uh, it's on Steam right now, but we're coming to PS4. Yep, so it's on Steam right now for $3.99, or you can get a four-pack if you don't want to, you know, lug your computer to your friend's house for 10 bucks. And then also it's coming to PS4 in September. Awesome. Nice. Well, I'm super excited to get it on PS4. I know we're, we love console games, so we're going to be playing this game, absolutely. Make sure you check out Thief Town. Check it out on Steam now. Coming to PS4 very soon. Uh, thanks for meeting with us, and for everything news-related, especially these indie games here at Otakon, stay here on Press Start TV. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.